Hi, I'm Ed Rosberg, CEO at Groby Optimization. We're proud to announce our new release, version 9.5. This release includes a variety of improvements. We've got performance improvements across pretty much all the different problem types we solve. We've got new features, we've got enhancements to compute server, we've got new licensing options. There's pretty much something for everyone in this release. First, let me talk about performance. We've increased performance across pretty much all of the problem types that we solve. So for linear programming, there are a variety of algorithms for solving LPs. So the smallest improvement is for the concurrent solver, where across our broad set of LP test problems, we, get, we have an average performance improvement of 14%. The largest improvement is for our primal simplex solver, where the improvement across the broad test set is 23% on average. And for the harder models in the set, the improvements are even larger. Uh, performance for our mixed integer programming solver is improved as well. Uh, the average improvement across our broad test set is 15%, with a 27% improvement on the harder models, the models that take more than 100 seconds to solve. We've also uh, produced improvements on MIQP and MIQCP, but the algorithm I actually want to talk about next is our non-convex quadratic programming solver, our bilinear solver. So this was new in version in our version 9.0. We made some pretty major improvements in performance in version 9.1, and now with version 9.5, we've made even more improvements. So version 9.5 compared to version 9.1 on the broad test set, it's three times faster on average. And for the harder problems, the ones that take more than 100 seconds to solve, it's 7.5 times faster on average. And so if you, if you combine these improvements with the improvements we made in 9.1, the, the set of problems you can solve is just dramatically different. 9.0 was already state-of-the-art, and 9.1 and 9.5 have just continued to improve the, uh, the state-of-the-art. Another thing we've added in version 9.5 is our new web license service, our new WLS. And WLS is particularly useful in containerized environments, if you're using Docker or Kubernetes or something like that. So web license, our web licensing service is basically a token server for Groby license that sits out on the internet. So you just install the WLS license in your application and it will just automatically grab tokens as needed. Previously, in order to support a, a dynamic environment like Docker, you would need to um, set up a, a static token server and serve tokens from your own token server. So this just makes it much smoother working in containerized environments using Groby. We've also enhanced our compute server product. Uh, the main enhancement we've made is we now provide user management. So with previous versions of compute server, if you had the password, you could submit jobs to the compute server. So now with the latest release, there's a notion of a user. So there's a set of users, there's, a, there's some different users have different privileges. There are administrators. Administrators can add users, delete users, revoke privileges, add privileges, etc. Um, and these users can be, be maintained through an LDAP repository. So you can connect the compute server to LDAP and that will, that will maintain your set of users. Another thing we've added is better support for API key management. So API keys you can now give descriptions of the API keys. And these, are, these will be stored when you use them. It makes it easier to keep track of which API keys are being used, how they're being used, and just to manage API keys in general. So that was just a quick overview of all the things new in version 9.5. I encourage you to visit our website, browse the full list of features, download the product, look at the documentation. So we're quite proud of what we've put in version 9.5 and we think you'll be pleased with it.